In today's video, I'm on the Pit Boss five burner griddle and I'm gonna season it up. We're gonna do the first cook and it might as well be Oklahoma burgers. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Nation and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. Now seasoning up any griddle is pretty simple. What did I just say right there? It just takes a matter of time. Come on guys. I'm putting that fart on the film. I'm putting it on there. It just takes a matter of time and the more you put on it, the better it turns out. But you wanna make sure that you're starting to develop that nice patina color. So grab your griddle and your flaxseed, Dickie. We're gonna amplify some backyard barbecue fun. Now before I go ahead and start seasoning up this Pit Boss griddle, I want to go ahead and slice up some onions real thin for our Oklahoma burgers. Yeah, I got one of these crazy Japanese mandolin things and be careful with them because they're dangerous. You can lop off a chunk of flesh if you're not paying attention. Now we're just slicing these up nice and thin and then we're going to put them in a bowl, putting a little bit of kosher salt on them and that's going to help these sweat out. You want these onions to lose a lot of this moisture, just makes them easier when you fry them up. This is a little trick that they do in the restaurant all the time. Gotta slice up some buns. Just making up some nice little three to four ounce pucks. If you watch my good friend Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue, when he did his Oklahoma burgers, he actually went down and did some research right in Oklahoma. Well, every time I've done Oklahoma burgers, I've done a ball. Let's do a puck instead. Certainly be easier for smashing. These are close enough. I didn't weigh them out. We're not scientists here. We're barbecuers. You gotta make them into pucks a little bit though. Yeah, eat pity pit into a puck. Now the Pit Boss 5 burner is going to come already pre-seasoned. It's a manufactured seasoning that they put on it. So you could ultimately go ahead and start cooking on it, but I prefer to go ahead and put some flaxseed oil on it and give it a real true season. First step is obviously to hang the tank and open up that valve. Now to actually light up the Pit Boss, just go ahead and turn the knob. You'll hear that click and you can start hearing that burner kick in. You'll hear it. And you'll also feel that it's starting to heat up a little bit. Let's just go ahead and do it on the rest of the burners. Middle one, fourth one, and finally the fifth one will get that lit too. Go ahead and look underneath and check between your griddle and the pit to make sure that they're all lit up. Now we're just gonna let this start to heat up and once we start seeing it darken a little bit, we'll start spreading on some of our flaxseed oil. I've been running the Pit Boss 5 burner for about 15 minutes now and the top of that griddle is already starting to get nice and dark. So let's go ahead and add some flaxseed oil to it. Now this is gonna be hot. You can use the tongs or you can go ahead and use some good old welding gloves if you got them. I'm just using a couple cotton liners with a nitrile on top of it today. Go ahead and we're gonna get some of our flaxseed oil on. We don't wanna put a ton of it, but this is normal. It's gonna smoke up, but just start spreading it out. Get it on here, get her covered up. You're gonna wanna also get in the corners, along the edges, even these sides on the backs, I like to give them a little coat. Get her up here in the front a little better. And I'm just gonna keep on doing this until I get the color that I'm really looking for on that griddle. And you don't have to do this all in one day. You can get an area nice and dark and start cooking on it and let it start to season from there. We've been running for about an hour and it's looking pretty good. I can't get it quite dark enough up here yet and that's all right. It's gonna take a little bit more time to season this correctly, but I wanna get some good old fashioned animal fat on it right now. You can do bacon, but I prefer to do some hamburgers on it today and I'm using 80-20 burger. I'm really seasoned up through here, so I'm just gonna start off with four patties and I did this the puck style and they're gonna be hot but we're looking for some good old char on the bottom of them, that's for sure. Now this isn't all about how to make an Oklahoma burger. I made some last weekend on my Santa Maria and my boys said, hey, make some more, Dad. So I thought, why not? We'll do it that way. Now these onions are perfect for seasoning up a grill too. 
get a big old clump of them right on this burger. I know some people will smash them up a little bit El Reno style. We're just gonna give them a little bit of squash at first just to get them infused a little bit. And you can pound them, you know, however you want to. But I prefer just to take a couple of these spatulas, try to get that onion to infuse into that burger because there's so much flavor in there. And where you find a high spot, smush her down. I know this smash burger, you gotta wallop it, but I can't find my big spatula, so this is gonna do. And good time to get a little bit of salt on them and a little bit of black pepper for flavor. We're just gonna let these sit and cook for a little bit, and once we start seeing some moisture come through the top of them, then we'll go ahead and flip them. The aroma that you get off from this style of burger is incredible too, so the neighbors are gonna come running. And if some of the onion comes off the top of it, I like to scoop it back on there. So when we flip it, they're right underneath that burger. And I've said it before, I'm not a griddle cooker, but this thing, I can see myself using it more, but my boys, I guarantee you one of them will be using it every single day. And being that I'm on the back side of the griddle, there's a lot more heat that comes out on this direction than there does on the front side. But I wanted you to be able to see the dials. That's the cool part. Now we're just starting to get a little brown coming over the edges, but we'll give it just a little bit longer. Get on there, you ain't escaping. I think we're ready to start flipping these over. Oh yeah. Give her a little squish too to get some of that grease and juice into those onions. But that's a beautiful, nice seared up burger for sure. Now with flaxseed oil, sometimes it's gonna be a little sticky, so you gotta make sure that you really bake it into this griddle because it will get sticky in your food. It isn't gonna come off that easy. Now it's time for some cheese. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. And I'm making a double. So we're gonna only put the buns on the one, and this one's a little bigger, so we'll put one on here. And with this style of burger, I like to get that moisture in that bun. Softer the better, as long as it's not mush. Our cheese is all melted and it's time to go ahead and serve them up. Something like this. Flip this one over. We're running pretty hot. Get this bun on here. Same thing with this one. Get this one off. Gotta get some more of that caramelized beautiful onion on there. Flip this one over too. Ooh. We're gonna put it right here on the bun like that. I always keep all of this because my wife loves onions. This side here, I can tell I'm running pretty dang hot. We got pretty charred up, but oh well. We can learn and adjust that later. So for my first cook, it didn't go too bad. This side, obviously, it's close to the tank. It's running a lot hotter. I should have grabbed my Thermalworks infrared thermometer and tested it, but we need to back this side down a little bit. But I'll be honest with you, that's why I only wanted to do four patties at first. I wanna to get to learn this griddle before I start inviting people over and then have that happen. It's not a big deal. I just know I gotta back that one down probably down to about a quarter and the rest of them should even out pretty decent. But we got the nice and crispy edges on this burger for sure. This style of burger, I don't even care if I have any condiments to be honest with you. The onions is all I need. And of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. Well, there goes nothing. <laughs> wow, it's a perfect onion burger. I don't know if this camera's gonna pick it up, but there's tons of moisture in here. And it's dripping down my gloves, so it's a winner. I wanna do a quick thank you to all my Patreons and all the people that have joined the Dead Broke Barbecue Nation over on Facebook. I think we added like 700 people last weekend. Feels good to be a part of a nation, don't it? You know, if you enjoy cooking, it's a great place to share all your cooks and inspire other people there too. I even get inspired. Show me. Enjoy this part because my boys said, Dad, we're gonna make them. We weren't here for Father's Day because we were fishing. All right, make some onion burgers. Well, it's that time again. Roll the nation.
What's so funny now? Smashing balls. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna kill me pretty soon. God. I don't fart.